Hey, this is Reverend Daryl Cook again with Sons of Thunder Pro. Uh, coming back to you, I want to show you a couple different ways of getting to the same place. Uh, so I'm gonna stick. I'm, I'm gonna stay in the key of of, uh, of A flat. Uh, try to stick in, in in the key that uh, most people are, uh, are are pretty good in. Uh, and we're trying to get to the F. Uh, so we're here, key of A flat. We want to get to an F minor chord. Whatever version of the chord you know you, you normally play. Matter of fact, let me give you a couple of the ways that I would play that F minor chord. Uh, the first way, of course, the basic way. F, A flat, C, F. You got the E flat in there. Alright. Another way to play it right here. It sometimes I rarely voice like this, but you can uh, F G A flat in your left hand, C E flat G. You can voice that. This is popular now. Like to kind of uh, to uh, grace that G from the F. That chord, F, of course, is the bass, even though you, you, you're not going to play the root right now. E flat, G, A flat, C. And you're going to do that little tickle up there. Okay, and then uh, another way to play it. You can play this, this big, this big stretch with your right hand. Uh, I just got two notes on my left, F, G. My right, I have A flat, C, E flat, G, and B flat. Or we can just make it just all out big. Excuse me. And I use this chord a lot. I play F, C, E flat. G in my left hand. So again, it's F, C, E flat, G, and the same chord I just showed you, okay? So those are the different ways that you can play that F minor. Uh, so we want to get there. Of course, it depends on the type of mode you're in. If you're in a traditional mode, uh, the, one of the best ways to get there is from an E diminished. playing a straight E diminished. E, G, B flat, D flat, E, G, B flat. And it works, you know, with every chord that we just played. You got to do that melody. I showed you this melody in, a, in another song. C, E, C, B flat, D flat. So, okay. So that's that's always popular. Or you can approach the E diminished. You can go C, C chord over C bass, B flat chord over a D bass, then to the E diminished. You go. Flat over D chord, D bass, then E diminish, invert it, then go to your go there. So those are traditional ways. That's how, that's how you get there from a uh, uh, traditional approach. Let's take a seven three six, which is a G in the bass, three, which would be a C, and six, which would be the F minor. One of the popular ways to play the 736 is all right. all right. So my left hand, I have a F, G, A, B flat, D, 
My right hand, I have an F, B flat, C. My left hand on that second chord, I have a C, an E, and a B flat. I have in my right hand a E, A flat, B flat, C, and a uh, E flat. Just go on to that chord from there. You also play this melody, you hear this melody all the time. play that melody. So that's one approach on the 736. Uh, the next approach you can play this chord. A lot of times I actually play it here. Alright so either way is fine. I'll just show you this way. Uh, your right hand, I mean, in your left hand, you got the same chords before. F, G, A, B flat, D. In this chord, you just have a basic F chord. F, A, C, and you can put the F up top if you want to. Depend in, it's going to depend on the melody you want. All right, and then you can go here. Same chord we just did. Or actually, I actually kind of flipped it a little bit instead of playing this. I just played a straight A flat chord. And then you can go there. Alright, so. So this, this change, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to approach the 7. From the one, I'm gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna go one, seven, three, six. I'm gonna approach it just like that, and it's gonna sound like this. flat C in our uh, left hand, B flat chord in our right, F, B flat, D, chromatic on the G, this is very popular, so you got this, uh, your right, I mean in your left hand you have a B flat, F, B, then you have a a E, a A, and a D flat. And it's the same chord we just did. So you have 